Hello, 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 people. It is me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And oh my days, it's been a minute since I've been able to say that. And this might be a surprise to some of you, but I am indeed here back on YouTube with a FM21 video. Today is the start of a brand new series, Homeless to Hero. As you can see all around me, this is going to be a worldwide journeyman. And this is episode number one, Will Work for Food. Hello people, so before we do get in to applying for jobs and looking at what is available around the world, first thing I want to look at and I want to explain to you guys is the rules for the save that I have made for myself. I have of course given myself no badges, no experience, I'll show you the profile in just a second so you can see that for yourself. I have also loaded all the default leagues in the game. So, laptop, really sorry fella, but you're gonna be working hard. And on top of that, just randomly, I found an Egyptian league pyramid system. So, I've downloaded and installed that as well. Just because Egypt is a fascinating country to me. And I would love, love, love to go to Egypt one day in real life. But if I've got to do it virtually, I'll do it on FM. So, you never know. We might end up in Egypt at some point. And then, as well as that... Just to give it that little bit more of a challenge, of difficulty, of anything like that. And also, to make it realistic, I think, in my opinion, we are going to be having no attributes, no stars, none of that good stuff. We are going to be relying on our assistant managers, our coaches, our scouts, our players for recommendations, all of that good stuff. So, I hope that sounds good to you guys. Let's go and have a look at my profile. There we go. So, you can see that my manager is called Dave Richards. You can see it up there. And it should be somewhere else in here. I have just changed over to this skin. Just for the purpose of this save. So, might be a little things I have to get used to. But, yep, you can see Dave Richards, 40 years old, born in Birmingham. Can't remember why I chose Birmingham. I loaded this save up the other day, so I wouldn't be waiting ages while I was waiting to do this video. But, yep, 40 years old, from Birmingham. And you can see there, he's got a little bit of reputation. Uh, no media, no media handling, no tactical consistency, and no hands-on approach, as to say anything just yet. And so, just to prove to you that we cannot see anybody's attributes, let's go for the obvious man, Lionel Messi. And yeah, for every single player in the world, this is what we are going to be looking at. We've got a little bit of a clue, because I'm guessing green is better than yellow, but that's it. That is all we are going to know. We're not going to have any, like, 15 finishing, 17 crossing, 18 marking, none of that stuff. Just this. So, like I say, scouts, coaches, all of that good stuff are going to be very, very much important. And so, let's go and have a look at the available jobs. And you can see, there are, uh, if we go onto the manager screen, that might help. This might take a second, so there might be a slight cut. And so, yep, here we are. These are all the jobs that are available in the world. No Egyptian teams seem to have any managers. So, yeah, very high chance we might end up in Egypt, I would think. But one team I have already spotted when I did have a quick look the other day that I would like to maybe end up at. Porto El Sokna. And now why would I like to end up there? 
because they play near the Suez Canal, which has been in the news a lot lately. So, might be funny to play there. And if we do end up here, we are going to be parking the boat, not the bus. Jose Mourinho can keep his bus. We will be parking the ever-given bus, or the ever-given boat even. And so... Yeah, they are the one most interesting team I have spotted so far. But you can see every team in Egypt, up until the Egyptian Premier League, they seem to have managers. But all the teams lower down don't. And Egypt goes all the way down to the third division. But we've also got uh, Garud in Norway. Wigan, obviously, from England. We've got a team there, Hapoel in Israel. More Egyptian teams. Uh, Crotone in Serie A. Don't think we're going to be ending up there right at the start. Celtic. It would be a miracle if we ended up there. But I don't think we will. We've obviously got Brazil as well. Denmark. And so, yeah, a lot, a lot of teams. So, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We are going to apply for all. But we'll only go through one or two interviews live. And then I'll try and do a bit of a time-lapse video of all the others. And then we will see where I end up. So let's go apply all. And I'll be back with you when we've got a couple of interviews. See you in a second. Hello, people. We're back. And we have actually got a job interview. And it's not taken that long. I think it's like the next day after we started... And it is with a team who I actually pointed out in the intro just now. It is Garud IL, and they're from Norway. Again, no kits as of yet, but if we do get a team and they haven't got kits, I will, of course, get someone in the community to make us some beautiful kits for that team. But they are a first division team in Norway. Is that the top league? That cannot be the top league, surely. Uh, let's go back and first division. Lilstrom, Tromso. I do think that is the top league. No, it's not. It's the second league. Excuse my awful European football knowledge. But, yep, second division in Norway. That could be quite nice. So, let's go attend the interview. Um, I'm glad you've given me the chance to talk to the club. Yep. How would you overcome the relatively big obstacle of not speaking the language? Well, I am going to say uh, football is something of a universal language. Let's see how that goes down. Can you explain why you appear to be in the running for a few jobs? Uh, I don't think it's an unreasonable number of clubs. I'm merely considering my options. Let's go for that. And can you tell us what changes you would like to make to the size of our backroom team? Uh, to try and get these on board, because chairmen always like saving money, don't they? So let's go. I'd find a way to reduce the number of people in the support team. And how do you feel about working with our current director of football? Uh, I'm going to say I couldn't abide by that. My power must be absolute, like a dictator. That is what I want to be like. As part of the recruitment process... We are willing to allow you to request changes to our current backroom staff. I'm going to say, because I'm brand new to football apparently, I only want a small budget because I don't know anybody in the game. So that is what we are going to be saying. And now the club vision, what do they want? Uh, work within wage budget, of course every single team wants that. If you've ever seen a team that have said, you know what, ignore the wage budget, please do let me know. Because I don't think I ever have in FM. And so first division for this season, they want mid-table. And then second season, top half finish. And then end of 2022 season, reach the playoffs. So you can see the progression they want there. And I'm going to say it looks like you've got an exciting future. Uh, if hired, we'd expect you to avoid relegation. I'm going to be ambitious. It might be idiotic because I know nothing about the team, but I'm going to say we can finish in a mid-table league position and a transfer budget of 6k. Really? What can you do with 6k? 
And so, because I'm because I think you can't do much with it, I am going to say I'd happily work with a sli- I'd happily work with a slightly smaller transfer budget. And there we go. And a wage budget of only 5.8k. I'm going to say I'm happy with that budget. Because I don't know how much people are on there. I don't know what they're doing. So just try and stick to that and see what happens. And then do I have any requests? No, I don't. And so that has ended that. They are going to be in touch for a very enlightening discussion. Well, you need something enlightening because this office you've got. Boring as hell. Boring white tops. No idea what them books are. They look like some kind of encyclopedias. That plant looks very fake, if you ask me. And you got boring pens, boring paper. Yeah. First thing I might do is sort out that office if I did get the job at that club. And now we've got some more interviews. So let's see. We've got Flint Town, very local to me. Here in Wales, I believe they are. Yep, they are in the Welsh Premier League. So, a Premier League would be quite nice, but not quite sure if Wales would be good. We've got Corby... Corby I can't even say it. Corby Lower in the Chilean First Division. That could be interesting. I've never managed in South America. Union San Felipe. They are also in Chile. I'm getting a lot of love in Chile, which is always good. Uh, again, Deportes Magalans. So, yep. Yeah. And I'm guessing these are Chile as well. No, Uruguay. Uruguay could be cool. First ever winners of the World Cup. Mm, might be interesting to go down to Uruguay. And I do like their badge, actually. Let's go back to that badge. Watch our football club. And that badge is quite beautiful. I do like that. They are an early contender for a team I might like to take over. Uh, granite. Where on earth are Granite from? Never heard of you. Belarus. That would be a challenge. That would be a challenge. Did they say their nickname is the Linux? Oh, no. Uh, no idea what that... Linux? Is that the city they live in? Or they play in, even? No idea. And Barnetia offered job interview. Chile, and so we are getting a lot of love from South America. This is very, very good. And so you know what? I think we're going to leave it there for now. I'm going to go through all the interviews I get as we get an interview with from someone in Romania there. Cape Town? Cape Town. I was going to go to Cape Town when I was going to do this save on the blog site. So you never know, might end up there again, which would be quite cool because they have got quite a decent team from what I saw when I was doing this on the blog site. And so, yep, yeah, so Cape Town, obviously in South Africa, Villa Teresa, another Uruguayan team, M- NMG Hocknot in China. China could be fun. And so, yep, yeah, that is where we're going to leave it. For a minute, I'm going to do all these interviews and then I'll be back when we've got some kind of job interview. See you in a second. Oh, 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 finally, we have some news. We've got one team wanting us to give us what changes we would like to make to their backroom staff. And we've got two teams actually offering us jobs. The first one, the team that wants to know what changes we'd make to the staff, is ironically the team again I pointed out in the introduction when we was going through what jobs are available. I promise you I didn't know this was going to happen, but it is Garud IL in Norway. They are a semi-professional team founded in 1918. We'll have a look at them some more if we do take on their job. But just firstly, I did go into every interview and tell them that I wanted to sack the director of football. Don't want a director of football. I want to be like a Sir Alex Ferguson type and be in charge of everything at the club. So, director of football, unfortunately, I'm sorry mate, but you are gone as is the assistant manager, even if he is a player, but I'm guessing he's not young. 
31 and as an assistant manager, why can I see the uh, staff attributes? Is it only players' attributes we can't see? I'm going to change that. For this one time, we're going to have a look. But other than that, I am going to change it. And so, yeah, that's weird. But, yep, yeah, I'm going to change that off camera. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to be getting rid of the assistant manager. We're going to bring in our own people. Uh, performance analyst. We can't afford one of them, apparently. So, you are gone. And I think sports scientist. I don't think you need one at semi-pro level. But, we can't afford to get rid of you. So, you are staying, my man. And yep, that is the changes we'll make for them. And then the first team to offer us a job is the most local team. Flint Town in the Welsh Premier League have offered us a deal on £240 a week with a wage budget for the squad of just 2.5k. And their club vision is to finish mid-table this season and reach the quarter-finals of both of the Cups. And so let's just make sure that we can't see any of their players' uh, attributes, please. Yeah, we can't. That is good. And so, yep, yeah, you can see there, decent kits. Don't really like the black and white. That looks a bit like an old TV trying to be tuned in. And, well, I want our players to be completely tuned into each other. Badumdus. And, yeah. And so, they've got a 3,000 seat capacity, well, 3,000 capacity stadium. Average stadium condition. They play on grass, which is helpful. Always helpful for football. And they have got a large squad, which would help. So, they are an option. They are an option but the other one that have offered us a job is AFC Turis Oto Turnu Maguelli. And they play in Uruguay, I'm guessing. No, Romania. Romanian Second League. And they are offering us £275 a week with only a wage budget of £190. I'm getting paid more than the whole squad put together. If I was to take that job. They want us to fight bravely against relegation. And to be competitive in the cup. So let's just have a look at the Romanian second league. 21 teams? How does that work? Is that, is that because of the pandemic that A teams closed down? Let's have a look at the rules. Because Romania, again, another place I've never ever managed in. So would be interesting. And it is, what, 6th and 7th? Get, everyone below 6th and 7th gets relegated. Huh? There's more teams than that. Or am I missing something? Uh, Liga 2, there, there you go. Ah, okay. Okay, that makes more sense. So everyone below 7th gets put into a relegation group. That seems harsh. That seems very, very harsh. And then 6th and 7th get automatic, automatically relegated. And then 5th goes into a relegation playoff final. Okay, that that makes sense. But 6th and everyone. That is crazy. If anyone else has ever managed in the um, Romanian leagues, please do let me know if you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm tempted. I don't think I want to go Wales. I live in Wales. I want to manage somewhere else. But then also, I'm tempted by the Garud job. Because Garud, like I say, they're in the Norwegian First Division. I'm going to take a gamble. We're going to decline Flint Town. We're going to walk away from them. Oh, Romania. It's, it is tempting me. It is tempting me. But we'll delay that. And then we'll come back if we hear any news from Garud. We have news from Garud 
they are offering us their job as to be expected. They've offered us £575 a week, the most money we've been offered so far. We've actually got a transfer budget with them and a wage budget of 6 k and it's 6 k for the transfer budget as well. And they're in the first division. They want to finish mid-table and record a top half finish. Hmm, let's see, let's see, let's check out this league, see if there's any funny leagues. So let's go rules. First division. Not as many teams go into a relegation playoff, thank God. It's only 16th, 15th who get automatic, automatically relegated. And then 14th goes into a playoff between the first and second divisions. And then top two get promoted. And then it's pretty much the same as the English Championship. Third down to sixth goes into a playoff. So that is interesting. And so, yeah, first division, PRM playoff. First first playoff final. Is that just to get into the, into the top league? No, that's for the relegation. Okay. So, yeah. Norway. I think we're going to go Norway. Because they've already started their season as well. How many games do they have? A uh, number of teams. They're 16 teams, obviously. 30 games. So, we've got 17 games to do something with them. We're not going to be winning the league. We're way too far away to be doing that. But, the playoffs? Not a million miles away. If we can get a look at the squad and improve the team and go on a little bit of a run i think that's where we're gonna go let's just double check there's no other oh oh do we go garud or do we have the interview for the team i wanted to have a look at suez fc or oh, they're, they're egyptian second league though they're not going to offer us as much money as what garud are are they have any other teams actually offered us a job? Don't think they are. Job interview, job interview, job interview. Coca-Cola FC. No way. Ah, oh, We're interviewing for this one. This is the one we are interviewing for. And then it's either this or Garud. So let's go back down. Let's uh, delay Garud. So, it, yeah, it's Garud or it's Coca-Cola FC, which would make for some beautiful kits. Where are they? There they are. Let's go attend that interview. I'm going to do that now off camera. Actually, no, you know what? We'll do it on camera. Sod it. And so, yep, I'm just trying to forge ahead. Uh, I've been more than happy to work with the club's existing support team. I couldn't abide by that. Uh, and then they want to sign players under the age of 23. Second division group two. They want to finish in mid-table. And then should you be hired, the expectation, yep, is for mid-table. You've just told me that. So I'm going to say I can do that. A proposed wage budget of £321. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? I should just go Garud, shouldn't I? I should just go Garud, but... Coca-Cola FC would be hilarious. And so I'm going to be back once again in a minute when we see what happens with these boys. Actually, before we do that, we've got one more job offer. And it's from Club Atletico Villa Teresa, who do play in Uruguay. And they are offering us a deal for £725, which is the most we've been offered thus far. But no transfer budget, a wage budget of 7.5k. But they are in the second division, but they do want to reach the promotion playoffs. Have you started your season yet? No, you haven't. When does your season start? Because I do think South America might start a bit later than the rest of the world. Uh, yeah, you don't start till February next year. We're turning you down because I would like to get started with a job sometime soon. So, yep, still waiting to hear what's going to happen with Garud or Coca-Cola FC. <laughs> oh, my days. They've actually offered me the job. 
Coca Cola FC at the 30, 30 June Stadium. What country do they play in? Egypt. It's Egypt as well. I wanted to go Egypt at the start of this. 30,000 capacity stadium. They cannot be the only team playing there, surely. No, there's a few playing. There's a few, well, us and Pyramid and our reserves. I I think we're going to take this. As long as they're not waiting ages to play. No, their season's already started. And, well, it started badly. It has started badly from that. They are 13th in the league. Uh, well, we'll have, a, we'll have more of a look at the rules in the next episode. But it's just a very quick look. 30 games. I think we take this one. I think we take this one. Yes, other teams have offered us more money. But it's Coca-Cola. It's Egypt. It's perfect for me. So, we're not going to negotiate. We're not going to hang about. We only get a 10-month deal. Interesting. Okay. And so, yep, that is our first stop on this journey, man. Coca-Cola FC. And let's just go through this, and then we shall leave it there for today. Uh, founded in 2011, so only 10 years old or 9 years old in the game, as is the game skipping forward, because I've set it to. But Club Vision, 2nd Division, Group 2, mid-table. Uh, they're not judging us on the cup. I'm looking forward to this. I am looking forward to this. We'll do the press conference on the next video. And, well, yeah, guys, that is where we are going to leave it on that very refreshing or refreshing note. Thank you so much for watching this first video back. It's very, very much appreciated. If you are new around here, smash that subscribe button down below. Whack that big thumb. And, yep, guys, I shall see you soon for episode two of Homeless to Hero. Bye.